live all right so tonight's video we're going to be going through how to engage the pump on our engine three and also how to get water off the tank and how to pump water off the tank engine three is our pumper tanker it's got 2,000 gallons of water in the tank it's got a 1500 gpm pump so for tonight's purpose we're going to go through we're going to simulate that the truck's already at the fire and we want to get water so first step whenever we arrive on the scene we gotta get our wheel chocked on. One in the front, one in the back. Okay, so we're here. Okay, start the truck. We're gonna turn our batteries on, which is down here. See, we'll start it. Okay, we got ignition. So our next step's going to be to actually put the truck in pump gear. So if you look on your dash column, you want to first make sure the truck's in neutral. Our parking brake's engaged. And we're going to go and find our pump. Okay, so if you look here, see where it says water pump. We're going to engage it here. Okay, we've got one light that says pump engaged. We're going to come over. Basically, we're going to hit the D button. We see fourth gear. Fourth gear. Now our pump's engaged. We should have two green lights here telling us our pump's engaged. Alright, right, so we actually put it in pump gear. There's one that's it's going to transfer to transfer tape. It's going to take from our transmission and move it from the rear differential to the pump. Okay, so once that is engaged, the transmission and the engine of the truck are now running the pump instead of the drivetrain. Okay. When we go to run any kind of pump, we got two modes basically we operate in. So if you look at our pump intake, we can either have positive water or we can have negative. And that's basically vacuum in, as it's called a vacuum. Basically, once we go below zero, the pump uh, will operate in the vacuum. And that's actually sucking water into the pump and put it in that turn. But the first thing we're going to do is we want to pay attention to our pump intake and our pump discharge. So to go off our tank, we're going to pump off our tank. So we're going to go to our tank, tank the pump valve. We're going to open that up. Right now there's a valve in there that'll open water from the tank to the pump. So what we're going to have to do, since we're operating um, in a vacuum, is we're going to have to prime the pump. But what this actually does is it takes the air out of the pump. Okay, it's actually the primer is going to pump the air that's in the atmosphere out of the pump. Basically, what we're doing is reversing gravity. If we take that air out, the water's going to flow to the pump. So basically, what we're going to do to prime at our pump discharge so when we get positive water here and we go below we are basically in a vacuum so i'm going to go ahead and do that even though i got positive water <laughs> basically what we're looking for is we want to see our pump this our discharge go above zero we want to see our intake go below zero so that way we're in a vacuum we're actually sucking water into the So basically, especially when we're running out the tank, we want to pay attention to our tank water. That's how much water we got to discharge. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and charge our uh, number two discharge, pump water out. Another thing to pay attention to is our preset pump. Right now, this is running at pressure. So right now, the governor is set at 45. So we got water. The governor actually regulates the RPMs of the truck to give you the amount of pressure you want. Okay, so the more water the pump demands, the higher the RPMs are going to go. And basically, if I was to explain this, it's like the heart of your body. So if you're running uphill, your heart's going to beat faster because it's demanding more blood, more oxygen to your body. So the pump's the same way. If I run four lines off this truck, the pump's going to go at higher RPMs to maintain pressure. If I reduce them, the RPMs are going to reduce. It's just a good way to look at it. 
Alright, so I'm going to open this up. charging water right now. One of the things to pay attention to is you see how the RPMs automatically go up because it's trying to RPMs are trying to set this pressure. And basically we want to pay attention to what's on our gauges as opposed to the pump. So this basically if we set this at 50, it's gonna bring the RPMs of the truck up to hit what we want. But this is really our indicator because this thing could be at 100 and we got zero over here. This is just the regular RPM of the truck. So we're in our The more pressure we increase, the higher the RPM we're going to go up, and the more uh, water we're going to discharge. Uh, basically, that's the general concept of running off the tank uh, from the pump. And pretty much we want to keep an eye on our water because if we're drafted, another couple things to look at. You got two lights here that should match. Those are your two pump gears. And this is actually telling you what this discharge is picking up. As opposed to this, because we got this valve shut, so this is at zero. So if I open this, this video off, I'm going to show you how to take the truck out of pump here. We're all done pumping. Basically, we want our valves closed, the truck at an idle, and we'll take it out of pump here. Okay, in order to take it out of tank the pump, out of pump here, what we're going to do is first we want to come over and make sure we're in neutral. What you want to pay attention to is the pump engage is still on. You're okay the pump light came off. The gauge is still on because your switch is on. So once we hit this point, switch it, both lights are off, we are good to go. Hopefully this is helpful. Thanks to my cameraman. Hopefully this helps you. Thank you.